happy Monday. This is T with Sylvester. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a nice weekend and you're looking forward to the week. Get your cups ready for this week's tea. So I'm extra happy because it's my birthday and of course I'm getting ready for the day. I had a last minute script change. Um, instead of talking about empires and legacies, I decided to write a letter to my old self and to my future self. This week's video was inspired by a song by Messy Me, Dear Younger Me. This week's topic is Dear Younger Me, Dear Older Me, D-Y-M-D-O-M. So life is a journey. Life gives you lessons, right? And the letter I decided to write to myself is <clears throat> Dear Younger Me, how are you doing? As I write this letter on March 2nd, 2020, how are you doing? As I write this letter on March 2nd, 2020, I reflect on all the life experiences and how you have been molded to the woman that you are today. You are grateful because those life lessons have given you a master's in Spesso's life. But those are some of the lessons that you wish you could have embraced then. You should have walked your path. Oh boy, people like to judge others. The peer pressure that came with it was even worse. Younger me was told for you to become successful, you need to go to school, study hard, get a job, become an employee for job security to become so that you can become wealthy. I should have listened to President Uhuru Kenyatta who told the bitter truth. Mr. Kenyatta said, if you really love your children, get a business, not a job, because when you die, your children cannot inherit your job, but they would definitely inherit your business. In fact, if you die on the job, your boss will replace you before your burial. If your family live in a company house, they will kick them out before they can say anything. So when you close from work, do not go and watch television. Go home and think of a business. Dear younger me, you got caught up worrying about the future. You hesitated to take certain action because of fear of the future or what could be. You should have appreciated the journey and enjoyed your present. Young Sibesel, life is a journey. You will not end up where you expect. So you should have learned to enjoy a trip while keeping one eye on the road. You should have worked, you should have worked out more, washed what you ate and lived a healthy life. Don't get me wrong. You sure did love fried chicken and fries from Hungry Lion but you should have watched your calories. Sometimes less is better. Thanks to magazines and TV shows, you were taught to look a certain way, to be considered beautiful. The more friends and likes you got on Facebook, the more popular you thought you would be. Life was a beauty contest. You should have trusted God. After all, he is the one who said you are fearfully and wonderfully made. His works are wonderful and when it comes to friends, well, a man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Thank you to all my few genuine friends that have stuck close to you in all those years. You should have never underestimated the com uh, the power of compound interest. You should have started saving early as possible. Life gave you lemons from time to time, but there was always an opportunity to turn some misfortune into a gift. That is where gratitude played its role. Sometimes you were not okay, and that was okay. 
You were strong, but did face challenges. You stopped learning after graduating from university. You should have learned something new and a skill every day. You should have lived your life like there was no tomorrow and left no regrets behind. May all your friends that you have that have died rest in peace you loved with all your might to love and be loved in return made everything worthwhile so you loved your family and your friends dear younger me you should have never taken them for granted you should have let go of the things that hurt you forgiving those that hurt you was proven to be highly beneficial to your health Gracefully, you learned how to handle rejection. And that's the past. The next is Dear Older Me. Here is a PhD in Svesel's life. Don't mind other people's aspirations. Don't ever let someone else's goals and dreams influence your vision of life. It's your path and you decide where it takes you and how long it takes you to see it through. When a new idea comes up, don't hesitate to act. Seize the day. Whenever you feel it's time to act, take action. No matter the outcome, you will end up smarter than before. Dear older me, start developing healthy habits. Take regular checkups with your doctor and dentist in order to prevent future problems. Life goes by faster than you think. Make every moment count. Live your life to its full extent because life is short and you never know what tomorrow brings. A good reputation is better than fine wine. Live an honorable life. Move out of your comfort zone. The most uncomfortable or painful experience that you go through will help you grow as a person. If you let all of your fears and anxiety that hold you back, sorry, if you let go of all fears and anxiety that hold you back, you will start to make the major breakthroughs in life. Life is not a competition. Regardless of what you've achieved, there will always be someone better than you. Dear older Sebessel, life is about reaching your own potential and walking your path. The best education you ever get is travel. Do it often as you can because you will learn so much about culture, a place, and yourself. Give others a second chance. Everyone deserves it, Sylvester. Do not deny others of the chance to prove themselves to you after failing the first time. Regardless of how hard life will hit you, keep moving on. Having the ability to endure no matter what challenges are thrown your way is the key to winning in life. Always stay humble. Don't have any reason to brag. Humility is another virtue that you must learn to master on the way to success. Not everyone will like you, and that's okay. Continue being awesome. You should stay loyal to the people who will help you on the way up. Employees, viewers, and customers who will help you achieve success should be rewarded with loyalty in return. Once you forget the people who will help you achieve success, you will begin the slow decline from the top. This principle will help you build your empire and your legacy. Dear older me, show people uh, who care, show people that matter the most with you that you care and love them. Spend more time with them. Value them over your business and hobbies. Never fail to let them know how much they mean to you. At the end of the day, the relationship you have with them is all that matters. Live the life you want because you will not sweat the small stuff. That's to the future me. 
And of course, I would like to hear your feedback and comments and if possible, the letter to your younger self and to your future self. Until next time, God bless. Yes. Mm.